What's up guys, Sam Man back with another Hobbit figure review. And today we're taking a look at the Hobbit Desolation of Smog. This is a sequel. We're taking a look at Leo Legolas <laughs> Legolas Greenleaf. Uh, this is a pretty popular character back in the Lord of the Rings movie, and he's actually making his appearance now in the sequel to The Hobbit, and the character is Orlando Bloom, a lady favorite back in the day. Don't really know about, you know, if he's that popular nowadays anymore. Uh, the, the packaging is exactly the same as Smog, which is a pretty nice looking packaging. And these figures you can still find in stores. They're pretty, they're pretty well stocked at like Toys R Us. Uh, the front of the packaging here, you got, you know, the name there, and you got a nice image there of Orlando Bloom. And there's the figure in the packaging. Back of the packaging here, it says The Hobbit. It's got a lengthy read-up. If you guys want to read that, feel free to pause. It's got it in a different language. Right there at the bottom, we got the three figures that complete the series. I already reviewed a Zog, and we're going to look at Radagast at, uh, in the next uh, review. And, of course, there's uh, Legolas, which we're looking at today. So that's the back of the packaging. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at this figure. So we're going to take him outside of packaging, take a quick little break. Let's get him... Let's get him reviewed. All right, guys, so here's a quick little 360 look at the figure. He does come with a few uh, accessories, which is uh, really cool. But um, let's go ahead and take a quick little detailed look at this figure. Stay tuned. Okay, so Legolas does come with several accessories here, which we're going to get into. He's got his little um, bow right here, which you can see. There's no stringy part right there which is kind of unfortunate, it would have been cool to have that. But the bow itself looks pretty good. It's uh, made of a, a pretty nice sturdy plastic. It's got a little bit of writing throughout the, the bow there, which is nice. I like the uh, gold color on that, looks pretty good. So he does have that there. And again, just like with Smog, it's hard to get the hands to pry open. Actually, there you go. It's actually kind of easier. But you can actually just slide the bow into his hand all the way down and have him hold it you know, get him in some kind of a pose or something. And uh, there you go. That just flew out of his hand. Now, he does come with his little, I don't even, I forget what you what you call these, this little backpack thing that holds all the arrows and stuff. But it does have a peg there, and it does peg into his back, which is pretty cool. So you can, you, can, you know, store it on his back, depending on however you want to pose this thing. It's going to be at an angle, though, due to his hair. But it looks pretty good. So we'll get that off and we'll take a close look at this. The paint on it looks good. It has uh, some pretty nice looking detail. It's got that gold writing or gold little designs right there. And um, he does come with several arrows and swords that are, in, that are stored in here. Um, one of them we'll take a look at here. So here's a close look at one of his little swords, which is pretty cool. The handle looks really nice. It's a little sharp. So he does, he does have one of these. And the other here looks like to be looks to be the same. I think the same size too. Yeah, he has two swords that are pretty much the same exact thing, and they both store in the back of his uh, little um, arrow holder. I'm going to call it. Now he does have arrows that are removable. As you can see right here, he's got three of these here. Probably more if I turn these over. So he's got one, two, three six arrows total you can see that there here's the the ends of them which are pretty nice soft plot no, it's not soft plastic but he's got arrows so that's pretty cool and you can just store all these here right in the back so that's pretty good we'll pop the knives back in or the swords actually you got to have a certain way of storing the um, the knives back or the swords back, I kind of did it half-assed, but um, that's the, his accessories that he does come with, which is pretty cool. Now the figure himself, um, he does kind of look like Orlando Bloom. Looks like him a little bit. I don't like how the the hair really looks. Looks like it's two different colors though. It's got nice detail on it, but you can tell there's like two different paint paints going on here. Do like the head sculpt though. I really do like it. He looks like uh, he does look like Orlando Bloom. Eyebrows look good. The eyes look good. The facial expression just looks it looks pretty good. Like I like the way he looks. Um, but what I was thinking about when I was looking at these figures is that I miss the the Toy Biz ones. I never owned any of the Toy Biz Lord of the Ring figures, but they look really cool. If you guys never uh, seen them, uh, look them up. They look really nice. Um, got the uh, nice little armor here 
a lot of little details going on throughout the outfit, which is really cool. You can see right there, you can lift up the hair a little bit. There's the arm piece. Very, very nice. And uh, once you go a little bit further down the outfit, this is like a softer material right here. Like from here, it's like a hard plastic. Then once you get to the waist down, it's like a soft material. And there's the boots there. More of that gold writing or gold designs. There's the bottom of the boots. So there you have it, guys. It's a pretty good looking figure. Um, as far as the articulation goes on him, the head can go up and down, rotate side to side, arms go in and out, bend at the bicep, rotation in the lower arm, the wrist can rotate and slightly go in and out. He does have, looks like he does have rotation at the waist, but I can't really tell because of this, this whole one piece outfit. The legs do go in and out, but it's hindered by this lower part of the outfit. And he does have a bend at the knee, lower leg rotation. The foot can go up and down and uh, slightly rotate. So he's a pretty decent articulation. It seems like a lot of these figures articulation are hindered by the, the outfit on, um, on the figures. Here's a little size comparison with Legolas next to Azog. You can see Azog is, is, a, is quite a bigger figure compared to uh, Legolas. And there you have it guys. This is my review on the Hobbit Desolation of Smog. Where we're looking at Legolas. I feel like I'm saying that name wrong. And um, he's a pretty good looking figure guys. Let me know on the comments below what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to check out the movie. And if you guys are going to pick these figures up. I mean they're pretty nice for what they are. So you know I got them to to share with you guys so I'll, you know I'm a fan of the movie and I can't wait to see it tomorrow or today whenever this uh, video is going up and let me just let me know what you guys thoughts are thanks for watching guys peace out All right, so here's a quick little 360 look at Legolas. This is a pretty nice looking figure. It does come with several uh, little accessories. You know, I was just thinking, I miss the way the uh, the Toy Biz figures, Lord of the Rings figures look. They were actually really, really cool. Wow.